What's going on, everybody? Team of Gaming here. I'm Kaz. I'm Jeremy. And today, we're going to be doing How Good is Sora in Smash? And, um, yeah, we actually did predict this character getting into the game. We have a whole video dedicated to uh, predicting his moveset. We actually got a lot right, so if you wanted to uh, check that out, the link is in the description. But uh, before we get into the video, um, make sure to uh, sub. We're trying to get to 600 subs. Make sure to like the video if, if you like Sora. He's, he's the last character, and I, I think he was a good character to choose for uh, people who like Kingdom Hearts. And um, yeah, I think let's just get straight into this. So we're going to get right into the overview and the basics of Sora. Just how he is overall as a character. He is a very light and floaty character. He definitely doesn't excel on ground speed and air speed. And he has some moves that help him and give him more options for movement in the air. Otherwise, he's like a mid-range glass cannon character. He has a lot of multi-hit moves and moves that help him dish out a lot of damage, but since he's very light and floaty, he will die early because he's light and he gets punished for being floaty. His special features and mechanics include his neutral B. He could cycle between Fireaga, Thundaga, and Blizzaga. If you use one move, it'll cycle to the next one. And then you also have his up B, canceling into his side B. So you can do up B and then side B immediately after. So this is good for recovery and also mix-ups. So we're just going to go over all of his moves really quick. And uh, we're going to start with jab, dash attack, and tilts. So for starters, his jab is just like a classic three-hit jab. Uh, it hits higher than you expect. So you could do like down tilt jab. Not saying that you should, but you can do that just to show how high it hits. And uh, F tilt, this is a little weird move. I don't really know the purpose of this move. Like you can kind of kill with the first hit, but like I, I don't ever even see a reason to use this move. Like to use the full three hits in a combo. I don't know. I don't, I don't think this move is very good. But down tilt is like his best tilt easily. So down tilt can set up in a fair one, which leads into fair two. And then you can loop that if you know how to do IDJ. You could also do uh, down tilt and nair and down tilt and up smash as a kill confirm. And you can even do down tilt and up tilt. So down tilt is going to be, oh, it's going to be so useful. Uh, if you even land a jab lock, you could do a down tilt for a follow up. Down tilt is definitely his uh, his best tilt, and um, his uh, other tilt, up tilt, it's a uh, it's okay. It's kind of laggy. It's mostly going to be using combos. You can anti air with it, but uh, you're kind of just better off with up air. Yeah, his tilts are overall pretty uh, pretty okay. Down tilt is what saves it the most, but they're, they're fine. Now we're going to dive straight into Sora's aerials, and we're going to start off with a nair and fair. As you know, they're both the three hit combo, and they can be cancelled and they can lead to loops and mix ups. You can do the full three hit combo, or you can do the first two hits and cancel it, but you can cancel it into another move as a mix up. So you can do the first and second hit of Nair, and then you can fast fall down and then up air to mix up. And some other things that are important to go over for these aerials. Sora has a bunch of loops with these aerials. You can do um, down tilt fair the first two hits. But you need uh, IDJ to loop this. But he also has down throw nair and you fast fall. And then you don't need IDJ to do this. You can just keep looping it. And I mentioned up air before, you can fast fall and do up air, and this can set up into up B and can kill really early. So you could also do like reverse up air and then another up air into up B, and you can die at like 50 depending on the character. All around his aerials are really good for just dishing out damage and up air is really good for killing. He also has just spacing back air and down air as a mix up. So yeah, overall his aerials are good for killing and whatnot. And now really quick, we have Sora's smash attacks. There's nothing really too complicated for the smash attacks here. They're all really strong, and this just fits the glass cannon archetype that Sora has. They're all really strong. F smash kills around 80, depending on the character. Up smash is strong, and you can do down tilt up smash. And up smash is also really good for hitting people on uh, the middle platforms. And you also have down smash, which is strong. But not only is it strong and has decent kill power, it can go over mid and low attacks. And it sends at a really good angle when you use it. It sends down and away. So at a lower percent, it can tech chase. And if they're at a higher percent, it's going to send them like off stage. Or if they're off stage already, you can use this move to two frame. So this is like a really good smash attack of his. And all of his smash attacks are just really good for killing and dishing out damage. 
Now I'm just going to go over his specials real quick. So he has Fiagra and this is just like your average projectile. Um, you can shoot it from uh, across the stage and try to hit people with it. But um, what's unique about it is if you're close, you can shoot it and then you can go in for some confirms. So people have been doing neutral B and then they have been doing a, say side B for example. And that's not really a like kill confirm, but that is a combo. And then the thing people have really been doing is neutral B and then you hit a nair and then F smash and then that's a, a kill confirm. So people have been using this for confirms recently. And uh, Fandaga, this move is mostly strong off stage. So if you're off stage, you can use this move to kind of just throw it out and it will most likely hit people because of how big it is. So yeah, you'll just hit them and then they'll die because it, it is pretty strong. And it's kind of hard to, you can time an air dodge, but it, it's pretty hard, especially for people who are just starting to play uh, play against Sora. Down the line, you'll definitely see people getting around Thundaga, but right now it seems to be a problem. Blizzaga, this can set up in kills. If you hit it on stage, you can do, uh, you can time an up smash or an up B or an up air. Uh, you can also throw this move off stage and then you can combo, uh, or not combo, you can wait and then you'll be able to hit like a fair or a, an up B and kill them like that. This move also has a lot of shield damage. So if you see people uh, shielding a lot and they have like a low shield, you can throw it out and just break their shield. So yeah, this move also can do that. And then moving on to side B. So his side B is kind of laggy. I, I wouldn't say like use it against people who are shielding against you. But uh, it's really good for recovering. That's like why you're gonna be using it. The move, especially after an up B, you can go like just way back to the stage, like easy. So that that's really why you're gonna be using it. And then up B, up B can kill. Obviously, you've definitely seen people do, use it to do that. It's it's also uh, okay out of shield. It's nine frames out of shield. It's so that it's not like the it's like slightly slower than cloud up B. Yeah, you're mainly gonna be seeing people use this out of shield or at the end of combos and. It's like kind of your worst recovery option. You're probably better off doing side B or jumping, but you can use it to do that. And then um, his last special, with this one is really good, counter. So this actually has a couple unique properties. So first off, players that hit Sora, they get stopped. So for example, you can actually beat Banjo side B with this move. A move that is completely invincible, you can beat th that with this move. And that, that means that you can stop people who are recovering, let's say like like a Lucina recovering, sometimes counters would miss because of how high she would go, but this would actually hit that because it stops them. And this also has another weird unique property where it changes the ownership of projectiles. So let's say you throw like a Richter side B at Sora and he, he counters it. Well, when it comes back to Richter, it's going to hit him because it's technically Sora's now. So yeah, that it also has that unique, uh, I don't know if we're going to be seeing that a lot, but maybe i don't know it could be useful in the future but yeah those are his specials and now we have sora's throws again all around good throws nothing too crazy or complicated down throw is a good combo throw at mid percent anything past like 20 percent is pretty fair game and you can get like down throw fair or nair and higher percents you can kind of get like down throw up air but Otherwise, you're just going to be using down tilt a lot. Forward throw is a, is a basic forward throw. It sends um, up and away. Sora has a decent back throw. It's a good kill throw and could kill at like 140, which is pretty impressive for a character like this. And up throw can kill at 175, so it's, it's kind of like a kill throw, I guess. But it's just another throw you're not going to be using too much. But all around, he has decent throws. So what are Sora's strong suits? So... For starters, his combo game is crazy, as it seems right now. So he can, um, after 20%, he can do down throw, and then he can get a fair or a nair after that. And then people have been discovering uh, that you can loop fair and nair. That's just, it just does a bunch of percent. You, you'll be seeing on screen right now, like, the crazy stuff people have been doing with looping nair and fair. And, um, yeah, if this is, like, well, we know you can't air dodge, but... With DI, you might be able to get out of some of this stuff, but as of right now, it seems like this stuff is going to be very strong, and if sword players can do this stuff consistently, it's going to make him very good. He's definitely going to be at least high tier with some of this stuff. Yeah, and he also has uh, kill confirms in his combo game, like landing Nair into uh, F Smash, landing Fair into F Smash. So these are just really, really good for his combo game, all this stuff that you're seeing. He can also do uh, uh, up air, reverse up air, uh, up B, and uh, he can do fire aga into stuff and people have been doing fire aga combos so his combo game is wild 
it's gonna be wild in the future to see what people do. And his other strong suit is that he has a strong recovery. Side B alone is like a very good option. So like he can do like uh, just side B. Well, his first side B has to be to the direction towards the stage. But after that, you can kind of do like uh, up down or down up, like like Pikachu. You can mix it up. It's not as good as Pikachu, but it, the fact that you can do it is pretty good. And he can also up B, which is a uh, uh, another thing you can do. And then side B after, or he can just straight up jump and air dodge. So he just has so many mix-ups off the get-go to get back to the stage. I, I won't see a recovery in the future for this character being a problem at all. And his last strong suit is his kill options. So just smash attacks in general are all really strong. Like his forward smash is killing like at 85, up smash is killing at like like 100. His, his down smash can two frame and uh, it sends at a nasty angle. Not to mention that he has, uh, he has down air, he has up B, he has uh, Dundaga off stage, and he has Blizzaga. He just has so many kill options. Obviously, you're gonna have to hit your opponent with these, but uh, they they all look pretty strong. So, what are Sora's general weaknesses? So he's light. He's uh he's like as light as Isabel, and that's that's not really that good. Like he's gonna be dying earlier than some other characters. And um, his other weaknesses is, is that he's floaty and. This is kind of good and bad for him, but it's mostly bad. So the reason why it's good is that he can stay in the air longer and he can do longer combos because of how floaty he is. But the main reason why being floaty is bad is because you're going to be in the air a lot longer. And that means uh, characters are going to be able to catch Sora more than some of the other characters. It's going to be harder to land. Like, he only really has down air as a mix-up. But to land, like, uh, I mean, you're going to have to air dodge or... Uh, maybe like reverse a neutral special, but mm, being floaty is not helping him in terms of landing and getting out of disadvantage. And his last kind of weakness that is going to hold him back is that he's kind of slow. So characters with like uh, projectiles or just characters that are faster than him might be a problem because he's not going to be able to outrun them or outcatch them. So that might be another problem for him in the future. Kaz touched upon this briefly, but now we have Sora's winning matchups and losing matchups. And Sora's winning matchups is pretty straightforward. The winning matchups are heavies because he can combo them easily. And he also has really good edge guarding for uh, bad recoveries. He has counter, which is really good for gimping bad recoveries. He also has uh, down air and Thundaga to gimp people. But heavies are just combo food with Sora, especially cause like with Nair and Fair, the first hit can kind of like drag you upwards. So if you're a big character, this is like a, a really uh, bad thing for you. The losing matchups, this is one of Sora's big downfalls, which we're going to also touch upon in the next section. The losing matchups are zoners, just because projectiles are hard for him in neutral because he's like slow and floaty. So when he has to land, he has very little landing options and he's really slow. So he's going to get caught by not only a lot of projectiles, but rush down characters who can immediately just run to where he has to land and catch him and he also might have a hard time dealing with burst options so they can keep him in disadvantage because he's just lacking in that department so the big downfall he has is that he's slow on the ground and in the air and he's floaty so he doesn't have a lot of options in the air as far as landing goes so Sora's potential in competitive play in the future, obviously. His combos, they're gonna be scary. Um, I can't see a world where these combos are not like uh, catching people, at least like at least like the fair ones and the nair ones. I can't can't see them not being like very good for Sora's kit. So they, they might make him top tier if people discover like some crazier stuff, but as of right now, they look like they're gonna be pretty good and combos are definitely gonna be one of Sora's strengths. Um, I'd say they'll, they'll, he'll probably be like high tier though. Even if his combos are like really good, like he has some weaknesses. They're not really like bad, like uh, weaknesses that are going to drag him down to like Gandorf level. The, you know, him being slow, he's going to, he, he might suffer from some stats being slow, floaty, and light. Those are like what he might suffer from. But in the hands of a good player, I think Sora should be able to do pretty good. I, I don't see why... He wouldn't be able to do as good as like a Byleth or as good as like a, a hero or a, a Cloud. I don't see why he wouldn't be able to do as good as some of those characters would be able to do. So the bottom line conclusion I have is Sora is a character with a lot of potential. 
this combo game is something for people to just just keep track of it in the future make sure you know how to di that stuff and uh in the hands of someone good Sora will be able to perform amazing in future tournaments despite his little drawbacks him being light and so he should be able to do very good and that was how good is Sora and um this is uh our, our gonna be our last how good I think because Sora is the last character and uh we have other out goods but it's a shame that the fire class is ending I mean it, it was a blast but oh man it was a wild ride also uh, I forgot to mention but I am back I, mean, I, I know our timeline's been a little weird but yeah I, I, I was doing some moving stuff and now I'm like kind of away from Jeremy but you guys won't be able to tell that because we're recording together using uh, discord and stuff like that but things are gonna be normal from now on I, I don't see why they would not be normal for, for you guys at least and um, yeah if you enjoyed it you know uh, like and sub and we're trying to hit our hit our 600 goal right now and we've been, we've been getting there but uh yeah um ha have a good day enjoy sora he's pretty fun and, and see you guys